uh, we will move forward uh, with the next item, which is a first reading of an ordinance imposing a quarter cent uh, sales tax or retail uh, transactions and use tax uh, for the purpose of providing quality preschool education, child care, health care, and extended learning after school. Uh, a lot of people are here today. Uh, first reading uh, is often just a perfunctory issue, but today we want it to be a celebration of the longstanding and diverse commitment across the uh, spectrum of our community to bring this uh, measure forward. And um, I'm going to ask uh, Supervisor Arnold if she would like to move this first reading. I'd be happy to move the first reading. And is second. And a second. And uh, all. Uh, well, we're just going to take this action um, after we hear from the public, I think. Right. Yeah. But um, I want to invite up any of the members of the many community organizations and individuals who've been involved in <laughs> this. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> Welcome, Ms. Garbarino. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We're here before you to talk about the very best investment we can make in our future, but you all already know that. The action before you is the tangible way to improve the future of every child in Marin. This is the fix, maybe not the fix for all of our ills, but the very best fix that all of the best minds in our community have come together to devise to even the playing field and give every child a chance for fulfillment success and the ability to contribute all that they can to make this world an even better place. We have such extraordinary talent. Strong start support. All of you out there. Yeah. All good. I'll just name a few of the rock stars, but they're all rock stars. Jenny, Kathy, Mary Jane, Pat, Alice, Cynthia, Eric, the good folks in the blue shirts over there. All good. Working together, this opportunity is not to be missed, and the whole world is watching. And if they're not, they should be. Our neighbor in Sonoma County is waiting in the wings to replicate our efforts, replicate this model across the state as well and the nation. This effort will be the model to ensure that the futures of all of our children will be the very, very best. Thank you for listening and for your support. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I uh, represent today just myself, so let me introduce myself. I am Terry D. Martini. I live in Fairfax. Um, I'm quite excited about what our county is is uh, proposing. I started my early childhood work in the 70s with the Bulimus Children's Center and went on to the Kentfield After School Center, both of which programs are still serving families, I'm happy to say. Um, I'm the founding director of the Marin Child Care Council and went on from there to West Ed, uh, the Center for Child and Family Studies, where I was director of training and technical assistance with the National Training Program, uh, Program for Infant Toddler Care. So I have traveled around the country and looked at a lot of, of early childhood programs. And this is um, uh, unique, what you are proposing. Um, we know that, um, that uh, one out of every three uh, children in Marin County is not in preschool, every of the preschool population. And um, the main issue is affordability. We have made great strides in research, in uh, staff development. I'm currently adjunct faculty at the College of Marin in the Early Childhood Education Department. Um, our facilities are wonderful, but we still need to help parents access those facilities and provide them with the resources that they need. These children are missing out on extraordinary opportunities to expand their social skills, their emotional intelligence, their cognitive development, and what I see is the sheer joy of spending the day interacting with their peers, with adults who cherish them and promote their curiosity. Um, so I, uh, I'm happy about what we're doing. I think it is groundbreaking, and of course, I urge your support. Thank you. Cynthia Murray, so nice Good to see morning. you all. Nice see you. I am CEO of North Bay Leadership Council. We represent the leading employers, Marin Sonoma and Napa counties, and we are so excited that, again, the county of Marin is leading the way in how to do things right to take care 
of the youngest residents and our future workforce. I'm going to talk a little bit about the economic benefits. Um, when you invest in, in children, you will get the best return on that investment for every dollar invested. You save seven to eight dollars. You will increase high school graduation by 31 percent, college attendance by more than 80 percent, employment by 23 percent, and we have studies coming out now that every new job is requiring more and more education. And so if these children don't get preschool, they're going to be not able to participate in the workforce, not only of today, but especially of tomorrow. We um, have some studies that have shown on a national basis that equal access to high quality child care and preschool would increase the national GDP by $551 billion mm -hmm. by allowing more parents to seek and keep their jobs mm -hmm. while simultaneously developing the next generation of innovators. So it'll improve health, it'll uh, improve civic engagement. We certainly want to make sure that people are voting and staying engaged in their community and their government, but it also is one of the best ways to reduce poverty and break that cycle of poverty, so important, reduce crime, and most of all, reduce inequity. So we are so, so excited mm -hmm. to partner with you and work together so that we have the very best, best and brightest future in Marin County. Thank you. Morning, Supervisors. Amy Reich with First Five Marin. Um, I want to thank you for all your years of support and for recognizing the importance of early, strong starts for all of our kids. Eighty percent of their brains are developed by three, ninety percent by five. Nurturing, developmentally appropriate experiences with adults and children to foster social, emotional, physical, and intellectual development will assure their success. And you understand that, and you're acting on it, and Marin is going to be a first, and we will lead the way, and I want to thank you on behalf of all of our children and families. goes low enough yeah, for someone as short as I am. Uh, I'm here, Marcia Hagen, representing the League of Women Voters of Marin County. I lifted this statement from our statewide position on early childhood education. High quality learning opportunities can have an incredible impact on children from lower income families. Low income children hear millions of words fewer than their more affluent peers. And when children are just two years old, there's already a six month gap in language proficiency between lower and higher income children. And sadly, those who start behind often stay behind. Improving the quality and availability of early learning for the children who need it most will help tackle the readiness gap that many children face on the day they start kindergarten and will ensure a brighter future for students, their families, and for California as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, great to see you all. Uh, my name is Eric Luke and I'm a resident of Novato as well as a city council member in Novato for the past five years. I'm here to speak in support of the Marin Strong Starts for Kids initiative, and I do want to clarify I'm speaking as an individual council member, not on behalf of the whole council or the city of Novato, as we haven't taken up that issue yet at, at our council. But I grew up in Novato. Uh, my sister and I attended preschool in Novato, and then eventually both went on and graduated from Novato High School. And when you're in preschool doing finger painting and making macaroni necklaces and enjoying story time and learning numbers and letters, making friends, you don't realize that you're also being prepared for a lifelong learning and a vital foundation that is being developed. However, one out of every three children in Marin do not attend preschool, often due to the high cost, of fam high cost for families, and therefore those children are not getting that foundation to set them up for that success. They're not learning those social skills about interacting with others. On top of that, 
800 families are on a wait list for quality child care, unable to secure affordable child care in Marin. Quality child care and affordable preschool isn't an issue of indifference. It's an issue of affordability, and this initiative will address that issue and a variety of other needs, including health care, wellness, and quality child care and after school programs. No parent wants to have to decide between putting gas in their car to get to work or taking their child to the dentist for a routine checkup. No parent wants to have to opt between paying the rent or paying the preschool tuition. And no parents want to have to decide whether or not they support an ailing relative or provide quality child care for their kids. But fortunately, we can do something about it. In Marin, we've adopted sales tax measures to improve transit and transportation, invest in our parks and preserve open space, and to maintain vital city services. Now is the time to invest in generations to come in our kids and in our future. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Alice Fredericks. I'm a Tiburon Council member, but I'm here as an individual. Um, I'm also a member of the Strong Start Support. There, there are many of us. We all appreciate the opportunity to have Marin voters show that they will give all children an opportunity not just to enrich their own lives, but to enrich the lives of our communities. When I was young, as some of us were uh, in the 60s, <laughs> America's greatness was called the Great Society, and due to those programs, I was a beneficiary and so was my daughter. They offered preschool to her while I was in college. Everyone should have the opportunity for their children, and they should have the opportunities for their families to support these children in these endeavors in preschool when they learn the basic things they need to be on a par, especially here, here in Marin, with their colleagues on the first day of kindergarten. I mean, there's nothing like working in, walking into preschool, I have been told, and finding all the children in the classroom knows what a sticky monkey is and you have not a clue. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for your consideration to put this Strong Start initiative on the ballot. It will give all of our youngest children what so many of us have been able to give our own children. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Carlos Garcia Bedoya. You know me, I'm a community leader, and uh, today I represent the parties not here. They are working. Don't forget, the education is starting when the board, the kids born. And we need for you, like uh, two years ago. And uh, the only thing I want to do today is something unusual. I want you show, help us. Let me give you the sticker. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Burke, the Marin County Superintendent of Schools. And I just want to thank each of you individually and um, what you represent collectively on behalf of our entire community, but in particular on behalf of our young children and their families. Um, as a representative of the K-12 system, I want you to imagine something. Imagine um, the time when thousands of children enter kindergarten throughout this community in our 55 schools that hold uh, children of that age. And imagine that all the children have had the advantages that they need so that when that teacher, by week one, right, in the very first week of school, a kindergarten teacher would be able to tell you which children have had that opportunity for a strong, high quality preschool and early education opportunities. And imagine when the kindergarten teachers come to you and stand in this line and express their thanks that you indeed made it possible for all the children entering our schools to have these amazing opportunities. And I want you to know that what you're doing in your roles, individually and collectively, is providing such a strong statement about young children and what we need to do 
and I look forward to the day when all the kindergarten teachers are here expressing their great thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Pat Kendall. I'm going towards the end. A lot has been said, so I'll make it really short. But following up on what Mary Jane just said, she talked about the first day. I want you to think that when we, in a year or so, have every four-year-old go to preschool, it's only going to be 14 years before we have that first group graduate from this start. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And behind them, everybody will be strong. And within a year, hopefully those children will have graduated from high school and will have some post-secondary education. We know that the best indicator of health in regards in regard to uh, education is having some post-secondary education. So we will give them that great start for health. And why is that important is that um, we know now that well over 60% of all of our income tax dollars are go to health care. That's enormous. And we know by, if some say 2020, some say a little later than that, 100% of every tax dollar will go to health care if we don't bend the curve on chronic conditions. So when these kids get into uh, our, our start, they will also have screenings. They will also hopefully know about the, the best choices of foods and, and all of that stuff that gets them going. And Damon, especially what you talked about earlier about working with substance abuse and mental health. We're going to put screening for mental health and substance abuse in with these four-year-olds, four and we haven't done that in a long, long, long time. We've got to do the upstream work because if we don't do it way in the beginning, well, then we're just tackling more and more down the way. So I see this as a line in the sand, and those kids that are four-year-olds after that line in the sand are going to be some of the luckiest kids that we have. Um, we've known for a long time that um, what we eat, what we drink, how active we are, what choices we make in our genetics affect our health. But we also know now the most important number in your medical record is your zip code, meaning where you live, where you have a place to live, if you're at poverty level, and if you have an education. So you're tackling the one that we can really get our hands around first, and hopefully those others are going to come right behind it. And I think someone just said, and I really truly believe it, this is going to make you a leader in this nation because this is going to take off. And um, I want to congratulate you ahead of time for that, and I look forward to next week when you give us the big thumbs up and we can really make a difference. So thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Jenny Calloway, and I'm a member of this coalition for Marin Strong Start. And I want to thank everybody here today for their endurance. I uh, appreciate the endurance of the Board of Supervisors. I appreciate the endurance of all the supporters for Marin Strong Start. You guys stand up if you're for Marin Strong Start. I want to make sure that we're always bolstering you up, letting you know that the community in, its, in all of its sectors support this initiative. So you've heard today from our working moms and dads, those that could be here, from our educators who support quality education, which is the, one of the highest values in this county, from our health providers, from our business community, we have members of the interfaith community, really every sector of this community is supporting this initiative. So I wanna thank everybody for their endurance. We know uh, that we are also thanking the children who shouldn't have to have endurance, quite frankly. Children can't wait, but they've been waiting. And what we're doing here is making sure that they don't wait any further. They are 30% of our now, and they are 100% of our future. Investing in this most treasured resource and infrastructure is the right thing to do, and it's the smart thing to do. Thank you. We, we look forward to next week. Thank you all for, for joining us. Uh, this really is an exciting uh, threshold that we are about to cross in a couple weeks when we take this matter up uh, for final action. I want to invite uh, individual supervisors, if you'd like to make some comments, beginning with Supervisor Allen. Sure. Well, what we've seen today and what, what your, prog your progress has been is a recipe for the success of one in every three children in this county. Um, Marin, we are we are receiving the ch these are the children that do not receive health care the children that 
daycare that doesn't get an education in their daycare program and the children that don't benefit from after, after um, school education. What That's what we're gonna be providing when we put this on the ballot and when the voters approve this. I can tell you an interesting thing that I saw last week at the SMART Board of Directors meeting. They are having, we are having a big problem in keeping signal engineers. First of all, there's not enough that are trained to be that. And when you are trained and SMART hires you, BART will come and give, the, give them $1,000 to leave because there's such a shortage. And we talked at SMART about, and I talked with College of Marin about pro SMART providing, a business providing some help to College of Marin to begin at their IVC campus this course in, in planning for signal engineers. And, uh, and you say, well, yeah, that's a long way away, but this strong start is an example of what we can do to provide the jobs in the future and as far as mass transit. So I want to thank this broad level of support. I've seen it grow, and today is a great example of it. And um, I, what, you keep, what we're doing today is going to have ramifications throughout the whole community and probably the United States. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Supervisor Conley? Yes, and thank you, everyone. Uh, so here's what it comes down to for me. In our society, education is the key factor to enable individuals who are willing to work hard to get ahead and create opportunities for themselves. And in turn, um, it enhances the well-being of our society as a whole. Even in our great county, uh, we have, and we all know it, uh, what has been termed the achievement gap. Uh, because for many, there is not a level playing field. And that really starts with early education, which is so critical to get our children off on the right feet. This initiative goes directly to that issue, and that's why I support it. And of course, the related and significant other issues of childcare and uh, health and how that uh, critically fits in with what uh, we're talking about as well. So I uh, appreciate the hard work that went into this and uh, very much looking forward to voting for it and supporting it as well. Thank you, Supervisor Rice. Looking forward to next week when we actually can take the vote that puts it on the puts this on the ballot. Um, I am very supportive. Um, everything's been said today um, about the fact and ev evidence and data that shows that uh, what happens in those early years are is probably the most important thing that things that can happen for a child in, in terms of setting them on a trajectory for success. I think that the um, I think that the plan is well constructed. I think the, ex the expenditure plan speaks to where it, what it needs to speak to. I think uh, it's set up for accountability and strong oversight. And I will be supporting. And I think that uh, as locally, if, if we can step up for parks and we can step up for transportation, we sure as well better be stepping up for kids. And it's not going to happen at the state level at, or at the federal level um, soon enough, if ever. And so we need to do it here locally. Thank you. Supervisor Sears. So we've been on a long journey, <laughs> and we're almost getting to the starting date, a <laughs> gate of asking people to vote, right? But sitting here listening to everyone speaking today, I was thinking about skill and language acquisition. And I think everyone in this group who has worked so hard to get us to the point where we are today has, this is an, a fabulous example of skill acquisition in terms of collaboration and really thinking through very carefully what is a complex set of needs. And I think all the speakers did a great job of really describing the complexity of the impact of what in some ways will be a simple ballot measure. And so thank all of you. I want to thank all of you so much. To me, what resonates probably the most strongly about um, this proposed ballot measure is the language acquisition. I think mm -hmm. that's just so tremendously important. And the child care to support everyone who's working mm -hmm. and wants to be working and wants to keep a job. Those are pillars 
really of our county, of our society, of what makes us healthy. So thank you so much. Keep going. Um, yeah, persistence and skill acquisition, we're going to go forward and really succeed on this. Thank you. <laughs> sí. Yo también. Uh, gracias a todos que están trabajando para este. <laughs> I really want this to be for the whole community. And yeah. thank you for those of you who are here today uh, who speak for the communities that uh, aren't able to speak for themselves uh, during the workday. Um, I consider this, like my entire board, uh, to represent the wisdom of our community, the community spirit that makes us a special place, and uh, justice being served. Um, mm -hmm. It is wise for sure to invest in the foundation of our youth and to pay forward the opportunities to prevent um, expenses at a future time in, in their lives. Um, it's also uh, extremely valuable to make sure that all children, and we emphasize all children, have the same opportunities uh, for these e examples of how you can proceed and improve yourself for their health, their well-being, their family support, and this measure incorporates those uh, elements into it. And then, of course, uh, it's just because historic inequities that have been built into our civic institutions, institutions are being dismantled uh, and need to be dismantled. And this is one very proactive way to reflect that. So for all those reasons, I think this board and our community should stand forward and, and support this. Um, you know, uh, congratulations on the hard work, but it needs to be matched by the hard work of a campaign to get a two-thirds vote. That is always a challenge. And the best way that each of us in this room can see its success is to not only work <coughs> with our organizations, but speak and, and have conversations about the true value of this measure uh, that could put us in a position of leading the way in the state of California, the first of dedicated funding for these activities. So thank you all. We're going to take the vote. Okay. Watch, watch how dry government can get. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. A first <laughs> reading of the ordinance. Tony. <laughs> Ordinance of the Marin County Board of Supervisors imposing a one quarter of one percent retail transactions and use tax to be administered by the State Board of Equalization for the purpose of providing quality preschool education, child care, health care, and extended learning after school. Great. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> and uh, take care.